Hi, I'm Lauren Nelson. And I'm Dean O'Ali. Welcome to the Harn Homestead. This is a museum of territorial history that, of course, is just a few blocks from our state capitol building. The family of William Fremont Harm built this darling Victorian home that you see behind us at the turn of the century. And he donated 40 acres of the land where the capital now sits. The territorial history of Oklahoma is, in all of its aspects, a feature of museums across our state, including the 1893 Land Run Historical Center in Medford, where Deanne Stein paid a visit. Oh, there's a lot of things in here, things that goes way back in the 1800s. I have lived here all my life. Oh my gosh, so you know everything. Probably. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> Which makes June Freeoff the perfect tour guide for our visit here at the 1893 Land Run Historical Center in Medford. There is your uh, kitchen cabinet, and they had the old stove over there that they cooked on. She strolled us through the main gallery, we have the old dishes that you would see in their houses back then. We have the fading couch that they used in their houses also. This came out of a dentist at Pond Creek. That was his cabinet that he kept all of his dental tools in. There's just a little bit of everything in here that you could see. Her years of selling antiques helped in cataloging all of the historic pieces on display. There were so many things, nobody knew what it was. And so I spent a month up here going through things. The artifacts give a timeline of the 1893 land run into the Cherokee outlet, from furniture and buggies to farm equipment and so much more. This is the bedroom area. Okay. There's the old dresser, there's your bed. You've got your old telephone on the wall. If you bring a young child in today or even a teenager, they don't realize what the old people used. Or the kids. In the next room, you'll see a replica of a late 1800s schoolroom. It takes you back a century ago. Kids nowadays live, live such a fast-paced life that it's nice to come back and realize that you know how slow things used to be, and, and it's all right to get back to that every once in a while. The museum opened in 2017 in this brand new building in downtown Medford. The city donated the land and the community brought the dream to fruition. It took a lot of people and a lot of man hours to raise all this money for Grant County. We don't want to just concentrate on Medford, we want to concentrate on the whole county and beyond that really. So the exhibits rotate every few months to highlight the different towns in Grant County. And for the true history buff, there's a research center that holds books and records dating back to the early 1900s. For us to be able to give this to the community and for our community to be proud of it, yeah, it's, it's something special. We have a lot of pictures around on the walls of different families. It means a lot, yeah, to us or to myself too. It's a showcase in Medford. Where you can visit Wednesday through Saturday or by appointment. At the 1893 Land Run Historical Center in Medford, I'm Deanne Stein for Discover Oklahoma. Here's the scoop if you want to pay a visit to the 1893 Land Run Historical Center in Medford. As always, you can find more on Travel OK, including other history museums around Oklahoma. And while you're in Medford, swing by the local classic Smirka's Dairy Snack for a home-cooked lunch and a masterpiece of pie. You can watch Dean Stein's story on Smirka's, spelled S-M-R-C-K-A apostrophe S, at discoveroklahomatv.com. And don't worry, if you can't spell Smirka's, just look up Medford and you'll find it. <laughs> you know, Willow Rock is another name you might have a little trouble spelling. It's actually derived from the woods and the lakes and the rocks of the Osage Hills surrounding the former home of Oklahoma oil man, Frank Phillips. Built in 1925, the Wooler Rock Museum and Wildlife Preserve is a multifaceted destination. There's something for everybody here, you know, the wildlife, the art, uh, Frank Phillips Historic Lodge, we have hiking trails here. So no matter what your interest level is, your age, um, your background, you can find something here to really enjoy and feel the magic of Wooler Rock. One of the recent renovations is a brand new welcome center named after this man, Bob Frazier, former CEO of the Frank Phillips Foundation. So we really wanted to take the opportunity to modernize uh, the entire building. 
this piece of it, being able to, to create the Prairie Dome Cafe was really important to us because we, we were able to take a concession area that was outside and really create a real restaurant, uh, a real destination place for people to go. Here in this very comfortable cafe, you can order a regular burger, a buffalo, or longhorn burger. They have a very tasty Frito chili pie and Indian taco too. But there are lots of healthy options as well with more salads, for example. We've introduced chicken wraps with both grilled and fried chicken uh, on the wraps. As you mentioned too, the coffee selections. Instead of offering you a cup of coffee, we now have about 35 choices up there that, uh, that you can choose from. So the menu is certainly a little more diverse. And, and our goal there is for it to apply to a more diverse uh, audience. I had the Indian taco. So how was it? It was delicious. The food is excellent, and I'm being totally serious. It's one of the best hamburgers I've had in quite a while. Much better than I cook on my own grill. Uh, my favorite place is that uh, Willow Rock is one of those fantastic places to come to. Anytime somebody comes from out of town, we bring them here. It's been said when you get to the front gate at Willow Rock, you've entered the museum. A two and a half mile drive will bring you straight to this new welcome center. It's all part of this incredible experience of visiting here, seeing the landscape, the animals, the amazing 50,000 square foot museum, and don't forget the lodge home. But your journey can begin at this beautiful new welcome center. A big part of us renovating the welcome center is for it really to be the center focal point for your visit here to Willow Rock gives guests an opportunity to sit down, plan, perhaps grab a drink, a snack, or some food, and really plot out their day, because as you mentioned, there's so much here between the lodge, the museum, the hiking trails, um, the petting barn, I and mean, we just have something for everybody. So it gives everyone an opportunity to say, hey, this is the time frame that we have, let's plot out our day and be strategic about it. This is the perfect place for mom and dad or grandma and grandpa to relax for a second and watch their kids play on the new playground too. Now this area can also be used for weddings, birthdays, or that special anniversary. But also remember there are opportunities to visit this very special place year round. This is something that they want to put on their calendars and make it either a monthly, a quarterly, biannual type visit. We get a ton of traffic out here from, from guests out here during the holidays. That's a really neat time of year. We have uh, Wonderland of Lights, um, which is just such a unique experience. Yeah, it's definitely something that people want to put on their calendars and come back again. I think if you get somebody to come out here one time, all it takes is that visit and then they become repeat guests. If you head to Willow Rock, be sure to give yourself plenty of time because there is much to see and do. You can find more on Willow Rock and other Bartlesville area destinations at TravelOK.com. My family would love Willow Rock. I've got to get my kids there, and I, they need to come here, too, to Harn Homestead. And we'll be checking out more of this history museum in just a bit. Then we'll mosey to a Tulsa burger place where the secret is in the sauce. And in nearby Broken Arrow, we'll go shopping in a boutique where four important numbers in Oklahoma history are in the name. And you'll want to get lathered up over these local soaps. Be right back with more of Discover Oklahoma. There's some things you just can't contain. Oklahoma Today magazine is bursting with culture. Mind-blowing restaurants, trips, adventures, and so much more. Open your copy, then hit the open road. Unleash your curiosity. Set your spirit free. Subscribe today for only $14.95. Oklahoma Today magazine. Break through the ordinary. Welcome back to Discover Oklahoma here at the Harn Homestead, just a few blocks from the Oklahoma State Capitol. Thousands of kids visit here every year to find out what it was like to live in territorial Oklahoma. And no doubt, times back then were a lot slower than they are these yeah. days. And honestly, that sounds pretty good to me. Well, I know your three kids keep you running. Yes, they do. And for anybody wanting to get away from it all, Tina McGarry has a destination that just might be what the doctor ordered. Nestled among the trees and the quiet beauty of the Arbuckles, River Bend Lodge offers a tranquil getaway for guests. We get a variety of people, but it's mostly families and couple getaways. And every once in a while we'll have a single person retreating, like more for a prayerful reason or just a, uh, a little sabbatical time. A serene escape with spectacular views. Riverbend Lodge lets you unplug, unwind, and enjoy the outdoors. The rustic cabins are comfortable but refined stocked with all the necessities and comforts of home. Everything is in, in your home that's normal to a household is probably here except for food and coffee. But there's uh, 
all the flatware, cookware, common pots and pans, towels, linens, and so you just mainly arrive and bring food. And these lodges have some great spaces. Maybe you want to gather around the table for a good home-cooked meal. Each lodge has a fully stocked, spacious kitchen. There's plenty of room to hang out with your family, your friends, for a fun game night or just good conversation. We get a lot of repeat uh, uh, guests that are family, uh, that have their weekend, that want to get away and have like a little mini reunion. Cabins vary in size and can accommodate up to 10 guests. Each features great outdoor living with a grill, fire pit, and hot tub. Our newest is a little tree house that's a small little stilted home up in the trees. The tree house is a favorite for couples. Elevated 15 feet above the ground, the inside is beautiful, romantic, and cozy. A bend in the river and we have the railroad that uh, uh, crosses over the mountain edge. So you get a kind of a combination of meadow and mountain and woods. So that's kind of unique and people like that. They don't feel like they're at a commercial resort. We have about a mile and a half of Washita River frontage and we have little fire pits. We have hot tubs in all the cabins. So uh, the idea is to reconnect with your family and friends and also get away. In the Arbuckles. Every season out here is good. <laughs> so. I'm Tina McGarry, Discovering Oklahoma. River Bend Lodge is one of many getaways around Sulphur, and you can find them all at TravelOK.com. Oklahoma's time as a territory ended when we became the 46th state in the Union. The year was 1907. And that happens to be the name of a very special gift shop that Julie Chen takes us to right now in Broken Arrow. 1907 isn't just the year of Oklahoma statehood. In Broken Arrow, it's also a shop designed to celebrate our great state. We are a small business that supports Oklahoma immensely. Um, so it's, if you like the state where we live, which if you're watching Discover Oklahoma, you probably do, <laughs> there's bound to be something in here that you'll like. Here you'll find cool, locally sourced, handcrafted items. Everything from custom cutting boards to clothes. We're famous for our t-shirts. They're super, super soft and they're all about Oklahoma. There's buffaloes and arrows and feathers and dream catchers and a few Bigfoots. You know, all the things that make Oklahoma, Oklahoma. And all those famous tops are designed and produced right here at 1907's new location. This is our new space. We are on the corner of Maine and Fort Worth. What looks like a big red barn is actually an old mechanic shop. You'll find the boutique up front and just beyond these walls, production is underway. In addition to printing their own t-shirts, hoodies, tanks and hats, 1907 laser engraves everything from tumblers to wall art. The store is staffed by a family of artists. Owner Bree and her mom and dad are always coming up with new original ideas. So now we have a full wood shop. Um, my dad, like growing up, was a master painter and stainer. He's making these really pretty like whiskey barrel lids that we can customize. We do them for family. They make really like fun Mother's Day presents like whole family trees. And Janet Dance is picking up a custom wood piece. It is a cutting board shaped like the state of Oklahoma and she engraved it. It's beautiful. It has their name on the front with, um, it has um, an arrow and just a beautiful Oklahoma Thing. Janet comes here often for gifts, both for friends and family. My husband is a big fan of t-shirts, and so he's always coming in and requesting what new designs they have, and he's got one coming up because his birthday's coming up. The store also produces its own line of all-natural soap and jewelry. You'll find additional Made in Oklahoma products here, too. We have food, because like Janet said, we um, make gift baskets, and they're all Oklahoma companies, so honeys and salsas and barbecue sauces that we've you know, curated from around the state. Okies are so friendly and thoughtful, and that's what I wanted my store to be. It's friendly and thoughtful, and um, just not like everybody else, because they want to be like everybody else. In Broken Arrow, I'm Julie Chin, Discovering Oklahoma. The shop 1907 is one of many reasons to visit Broken Arrow's Rose District. There are other shops, restaurants, a bake shop, a brewery, and a winery, so make a day of it. Just search Rose District at TravelOK.com. Mother's Day, birthday, any day really is a great time to pamper yourself. And coming up... A place devoted to locally made bath products that will do the trick. 
and then we'll head to a modern burger joint with the feel of a seasoned classic. Be right back. What's inside our free Oklahoma travel guide? Artistry for all five senses, magic around every bend, and powerful waves of inspiration. Order or download yours at TravelOK.com. Welcome back to Discover Oklahoma. We are at the historic Harn Homestead in Oklahoma City. You know, Dina, we're halfway through the show and you haven't told us a dad joke yet. Am I going to have to do one today? Well, there are those who would say it's inappropriate for someone who's not a dad to tell dad jokes. Really? Yes, it is a faux pas. After a long day of that, I'm going to need a break. I'll just be over here. <laughs> and maybe some pampering. And I know just the spot in Edmond where you can find all the ingredients for that perfect soak in the tub. Bath bombs, soaks, shower steamers, and souffles. These are just a few of the items you'll find at Bath Sorbet. We hand make all of our products, bath bombs, sugar scrubs, salt soaks, bubbly bath, um, kids surprise toys, that's you know how we got started. It all began three years ago when Lacey Ogden's daughter requested bath bombs for her birthday party favors. So we looked all over and couldn't find any that she was looking for. So we quickly looked on the internet and we decided to make some. So it was kind of a project that we did together. We had a lot of fun and um, put them out as party favors for her birthday with little Shopkins inside. It was just a hobby. I put it out on Facebook asking people if they wanted bath bombs. And before I even got my ingredients in, we had sold over $200 worth. So it has just gone that way from the very beginning for us. So we started a website, bathsorbet.com. Um, we've shipped all over the country. We've shipped worldwide to Saudi Arabia, Australia, Canada, um, and the word just traveled for us. Now they have two storefronts, one in Yukon and one in Edmond. They have bath bombs for everyone, including ones with surprise toys in them for your kiddos. But at Bath Sorbet, they have so much more than bath bombs. We have um, shower souffle, which is great for the shower. It's like a creamy whipped soap. Um, we have a shave soap that's amazing for shaving. You don't even need lotion after you use it. Um, we have a bugger off bug spray that's all natural. Um, and then we have bubbly bath and bubble bars. So we have a salt bar here at our Edmond location as well as our Yukon location where you get to fill your own bath salts in different colors and different fragrances. The products don't just make baths and showers more special. There are so many health benefits you can gain from the products at Bath Sorbet as well. They are great for detoxing. Um, it has Epsom salt and California sea salts in them, um, as well as peppermint essential oils and eucalyptus essential oils. Those are all great for just being able to relax and detox in the bath. They're very friendly to me because I have some sensitive skin issues and I will start itching whenever I use a lot of product from other companies. Um, and so her products doesn't don't really bother my skin and I don't itch. I do actually like the shower steamers that you put in your shower, you just put them in the corner and as the shower hits it, it steams up and it's they're really nice. I like the uh, shower souffle too, it's nice. And I just picked up some of the um, oatmeal, milk and honey salts, I'm gonna try that. If you need a special gift or have an event coming up, you can design your own bath bomb with the folks at Bath Sorbet. They can contact us at sales at bathsorbet.com. Um, we have a minimum of 12, but if they want 12 products, then we will be able to do it for them. Any color, scents, whatever, we will do it all. So for anything you could want to make your shower or baths more fun or relaxing, head to Bath Sorbet. I think that we are unique in that you will not find anything else like us probably in the whole state of Oklahoma. Um, so you'll find where we take a lot of pride in our products. They're handmade, um, they're quality ingredients, but also it's a really fun source. Bath Sorbet has two locations, one at 733 South Mustang Road in Yukon and another at 15124 Layton's Court in Edmond. Hit up their website for hours or to order online. It's bathsorbet.com. Dino, you know what time it is? Yes, I do. It is burger time. We're headed to a modern burger place on Route 66 that looks and tastes like a classic. There's also a spicy chicken sandwich and an impossible burger on the menu. Be back right after this with that tasty story. Don't go away. The free Oklahoma Outdoor Guide is your North Star. Lighting your way to jaw-dropping beauty and heart-pumping adventure. Order or download yours today at TravelOK.com. Welcome back to Discover Oklahoma and howdy from Harn Homestead. What a coincidence, that is exactly the name of our next destination. Harn Homestead? No, howdy. 
Well, howdy to you too. Howdy burger. <laughs> That's where Jason Grubbs is going to take us right now. Hamburger stands have been feeding hungry Route 66 travelers for decades. And while Howdy Burger here certainly has that vintage feel, it's actually a new addition to the Mother Road. Yeah, it's, it's one of those places that's got a lot of character to it. It's a great place. This is not the first rodeo at Howdy Burger for Robert Founds. Not my first time in, I'm here weekly. I came to eat the best burger in Tulsa. And that's why he keeps coming back. By the looks of them, he's right about those juicy burgers. So what makes them different? In my opinion, it's the bun, it's soft, it's, it's, uh, it's wonderful. The cheese is simple, it's basic. The meat is really good and seasoned well. I'd say the howdy sauce is one of the best things to add to that burger. We like to think that it's one of the best burgers you can get anywhere. Howdy Burger started out in 2019 up the road inside Mother Road Market. Jim O'Connor with the McNelly's Group says when the opportunity came two years later to expand on Route 66, they jumped at the idea. The giant neon sign out front serves as a beacon to travelers along the Mother Road. We wanted to build this as something that they could look at and go, oh, I want to stop there and get a burger. The new location allowed the menu to expand. A spicy chicken sandwich has been added. And next to the burger, I'm told it's one of the best selling items here. There's also the Impossible Burger. So if anyone wants it vegetarian, any burger can be made with the Impossible Burger. And we also have some chicken nuggets now on the menu. For those wanting to eat a little lighter, there's a bowl of fresh salad. But when the burgers and chicken look this good, how can you resist? It's a simple burger, but it's the right ingredients and it's great. The mayo-based secret rodeo sauce is made in-house. The patties are never frozen and everything's made to order. It takes a little bit longer than uh, um, some places, but the, the end result is uh, we think a much better burger because we are making it as it's, as it's ordered. If you're on a tight schedule, swing through the drive-thru. The Howdy Burger was built to be on the go. The idea of it, you could be driving down Route 66 and be able to eat that you know, with one hand. It's a very manageable burger. You'll find Howdy Burger's second location on 11th Street, just west of Utica. On Route 66 in Tulsa, I'm Jason Grubbs for Discover Oklahoma. Here's the address for Howdy Burger's new location on 11th in Tulsa, but the original location can still be found inside Mother Road Market on South Lewis. You can find Howdy Burger and more than 200 other burger joints around our state at TravelOK.com. And while you're there, click on free brochures to get your copy of the Discover Oklahoma Destination Dining Guide. You'll get it in the mail in about two weeks and it's free. Tune in next week for a trip to the Twister Museum in Wakita, plus OKC murals that have transformed the ordinary into the extraordinary, and a Tulsa restaurant where you don't have to wait for the weekend to get a fabulous Sunday-style brunch. Thanks to the Harn Homestead and 1889ers Museum in Oklahoma City for being our backdrop today. Be sure and pay them a visit by appointment, by the way. And when you visit, you can see this replica of the original Harn Homestead barn that, as you can imagine, is a very popular place for weddings and events. So until next time, remember, there's always something to discover in Oklahoma. Today we close with spectacular springtime color from the Tulsa Botanic Garden. We'll see you next time.